Hello and thanks for joining us on the Friday Fix. We're your coaches Piers and Andy from Me and My Golf and Andy. Loads of fantastic questions coming in. We're on the 18th tee at the Asprey. What are we doing today? Right, today we're going to show you how to get a more consistent club face during the backswing. Let's take charge of your game. Right then, let's get started with this. Andy, Nicholas Street has started his question with huge issue in capital, <laughs> capital letters. letters as well. Oh wow, we need to sort this out. Right, okay, I'm relatively young in my golf career, but in my backswing, I keep leaving the club face wide open and it continues to be open at impact. My shots result in losing distance and are going to the right. This is a very, very common <clears throat> problem we see with a lot of golfers. We're quite often talking about it, but there's lots of different ways we can fix this. So. We need to fix this club face position on the way back, don't we? Yeah, do you know do? what? Let's talk about what open is. So open mm. is really an excessive rotation of the club face during the backswing. And this really just sets yourself up to making a lot of compensations on the way down. Yeah. From here, from a very over-rotated club face, it's very hard to sequence the downswing right. And it makes it very difficult to produce a square club face back down at impact. So I think if we can start off the backswing in the right way, it just yeah. produces um, an easier downswing with less compensations and that's what we're trying to do get it more consistent delivery at impact which is which is key more consistent delivery of the loft as well because an open club face yes. as well we'll often call a lofted club face which obviously goes in with nicholas's sort of faults that he's hitting that high weak shot so right okay we've got probably a million and one drills on how to uh, correct a club face position maybe not quite that many what are we going to go with okay well let's just talk about what we probably see nicholas doing here so if i take my setup here and what we see a lot of golfers do from the address position, as they start the backswing away, they tend to start with the hands and arms only. So what happens here, you can see I get a bit of disconnection with the hands and the arms from the body, but the club face is very much rotated yeah. too much there. So we can see disconnection and over rotation. So what we want to focus on really is getting the torso engaged, yeah. synced up with the arms, and this is going to help keep the club face a little more square. So what we're saying with the club face as well and the club head is actually going back a little bit too fast, yeah, isn't so it? Almost just independently of yeah. what the body is as well. So if I take my setup, here's the drill for you, Nicholas. Take your setup, take your trail hand off, place it under your lead um, armpit here. And what you're going to focus on here, engaging the core, engaging your torso, moving the upper body. And as you swing back here, what you're going to notice as your hands just pass your thigh, you're going to see, first of all, Club face is a lot more square, looking more towards the ground. But also you'll see here, the butt end of the club is pointing now more towards my belt buckle. If I was to do this sort of uh, over rotation of the club face and no movement of the torso, you can see the butt end of the club is you separated. You can see there, yeah, you can see all that moving out of position. The three stripes on your top and on your belt aren't moving at all. When you do the drill correctly, I see the body rotating, exactly. I see those stripes moving. So do that again here, nice and sequenced, upper body moving, just as the hands get past the thigh, club face is more neutral. Belt is, sorry, club is looking towards the belt. I'm in a better sequence then to deliver a more consistent. Starting that way makes such a difference. Okay, simple enough. Let's see okay. here, shot. I say same feel then. I'm just going to rehearse that. Same feel, engage the torso, first movement away, keeping the club face a little more neutral on the way back. See if I can knock it on the 18th here at the Astri Pier. Let's see you can do it. Over the water. There's a good hit. There's definitely not any element of it going weak and right on that shot. Ooh, oh just God. left of the flag there, not bad, but again, that fringe. That just shows that the club face is in a more neutral position. I am going to make the compensations and try and protect that right shot. Okay, so don't forget, guys. Great tip there, Andy. Make sure you get involved. It's all about you fixing your golf swings. Post those comments down below. Thanks for watching. So we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you want more videos to help your game, make sure you hit the subscribe button right below. Also, make sure to check out our previous video, and then if you really want to work on getting rid of that slice, go to meandmygolf.com, 30-day free trial. It's definitely going to help you get rid of that slice, and maybe even get that little bit of a draw. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you soon.